one, we're affected by philosophy. First major of the five major pieces. Number two is attitude. We're affected by how we feel. First, we're affected by what we know and the decisions we, and the decisions we make. Second, we're affected by attitude, how we feel. And I gave that quick list. Let me give it to you. It's how you feel about the past. You've got to have a good attitude about the past. Use it as a school, not a club. Don't beat yourself to death with your past. Faults, failures, losses. Let the past be a school. Harsh school, maybe. What else is new? Let the past be a school master to teach you. Not to threaten you, but to teach you. Okay. Next, it's how you feel about the future. Set your goals. We'll talk a little bit about that before we finish today. Goal setting. The promise of the future is an awesome force to affect your life every day. Without a future well designed, we take hesitant steps. And all you have to have is hesitant steps. For six years, you'll be timid, driven into a corner, not boldly willing to go and take your portion, take your share. Okay? Next, it's how you feel about everybody else. Got to have a good attitude about everybody else because it takes everybody else to make a market. One person doesn't make a family. One person doesn't make a business. One person doesn't make a corporation. One person doesn't make a community. One person doesn't make a nation. It takes all of us to make a dynamic economy, a nation second to none. It takes all of us to make the churches and make the economy run. It takes all of us to make the possibilities. All the gifts that have flowed in here the last 200 years, unprecedented in six and a half thousand years of recorded history. There's been nothing like it. The ethnic streams that have flowed in here brought their gifts, brought their talent, brought their skills, brought their inventions, brought their work ethic. All of it mixed together is called America. Been nothing like it in six and a half thousand years. And to miss the value of it by some, you know, warped attitude about it, I'm telling you, you've missed it all. And if you have an appreciation for it all, you'll draw from it. And if you draw from all the gifts that have been blended together here for 200 years, now for your value and benefit, think of what you can do for your days, for your business, for your conversation, for your equities. You can transform it to an incredible degree. And here's the last one. It's how you feel about yourself. Understanding self-worth is the beginning of progress. Self-worth should be easy. If one of us can do it, all of us can do it. If anybody can think it, we all can think it. I can read, you can read. I can understand, you can understand. From where I came from, the few simple things I did and tried revolutionized my life in five years. There isn't anybody here that can't do it. Change from pennies to fortune. Change from nothing to something. Change from broke to rich. Anybody in this room can do it. If any of us can do it, we all can do it. That's the kind of value you should place on yourself. If Jim Rohn can understand it, I can understand it. If he can read, I can read. If he can find it, I can find it. If he can change, I can change. If you can get it done, I can get it done. That's the attitude about yourself. So valuable. Okay? Now, in transforming our lives, we don't start with attitude. We don't start with the inspiration here. We start with education. Somebody says, well, I expected you just come get motivated today. Well, that probably won't do it. Somebody says, by now, we should be standing on the chairs, waving a flag, singing the old gray mare. Get going here. No, that's not where you start. Life change does not start with inspiration. Life change starts with education. You've got to be educated to the point of where you might have messed up. My teacher put it in blunt, simple language. He only went to the ninth grade in school, so he put it in simple language I could understand. He said, Mr. Owen, after six years living in America, healthy American male, 25 years old, been working six years, one year of college, pennies in your pocket, nothing in the bank, behind on your promises, Shove said, I just got one simple explanation for that. You've messed up. <laughs> now, I could understand that kind of language. <laughs> Substitute a Hershey bar for an apple means you've messed up. Should walk around the block, could walk around the block, won't walk around the block. You have messed up. And all you got to go is right down through the list. Don't need some teacher to come by and tell you. Be your own best teacher saying, hey, let me make a list of some places I've messed up. Because if I let this down, let this down, that probably affects the rest. And the answer is, that's true. So we don't start with inspiration. We start with education. Somebody says, well, just motivate this guy. He'll be all right. Just motivate him. Get him turned on. Probably not. If 
a guy's an idiot, you motivate him, now you got a motivated idiot. <laughs> no, he won't be all right. So we start with education. What's the first education? If it isn't going well and you live in America, you have messed up. You don't need to change countries. You say, well, the country's messed up. That's like cursing the soil and cursing the seed and the sunshine and the rain, which is all you got. Don't curse all you got. When you get your own planet, you can rearrange this whole deal. But <laughs> this one, you got to take like it comes. So number two was attitude. Here was number three.